Okay, this actually still works. Just a second. Let me make sure I am live. Okay. I didn't know if this still worked because I got that notification saying that they were going to remove apps from Facebook groups. So I am glad to see that this is working. Let me just double check on my phone. Okay. Happy Monday, everyone. I am coming on here just to talk about some funnels. I've been actually trying to come live for quite a minute, <laughs> but life has uh, presented other things. So now we are finally, this has been on my to-do list for quite some time. So now we are finally doing it. Uh, let me just... Okay. Happy Monday. How's everyone doing? It's been so long. I'm so excited to be doing this again. So just wanted to uh, break down my funnel strategy and kind of walk you guys through it a little bit. Um, this has been something that I've been noticing so many women and men uh, and people that are in the coaching space wanting to step into sustainable sales, but I talked about this before in some of my other posts that the way that funnels have been set up and talked about makes it seem so complicated, but it's really not. And so for a lot of you who are already live launching or sell through organic content, it literally is the same concept. So before I actually go into the steps that I um, broke down in this post, I am going to go to my favorite little drawing and just kind of break down how funnels and organic content actually work together. So if you haven't seen any of the past trainings where I talk about this, um, I'm just gonna briefly run through it. And I can't really see the comments right now. Let me, um, so if you are here, say hi, I'll join the comments later. Hi, Mickey. I see, okay, I can see the comments. Okay, so I just wanna break down really quickly how your organic content or your launches work together with your funnels and how you literally are already using a funnel. The only difference between the funnels I talk about and the funnels you're, you're doing is that the ones I talk about are automated. Um, so let me get my pen. So um, in the simplest form, right? A funnel needs to just achieve these objectives. It needs to grow your audience. It needs to nurture them. Oops and convert them. So I like to call this my growth, nurture, and convert. It could be um, awareness, consideration, conversion. It could be top of funnel, middle of funnel, bottom of funnel. It's literally, they all say the same thing. But you need a system inside your business that is doing this over and over and over again. And so a lot of times when we start, we're doing that with organic content. Um, and for this example, I'm going to use Instagram and showing you how Instagram is a growth, nurture, and convert system. So when you strategically use Instagram, right, this is why people say like, it's not necessarily just creating content that converts. You actually have to know how to put it in a system. So this top piece is your growth. So knowing how to actually create content on Instagram that is meant to call in your ideal audience, right? And so normally right now you can see on Instagram, that's usually reels um, or uh, carousels that make it to the explore page that are calling out a very specific person that has a very specific problem. And then what happens is that it brings people into your profile, right? And so, of course, you got to make sure your profile is set up correctly. And then your Instagram feed, which is normally like your carousel posts or your static images, are where you would create your nurture content. So this is the content that is meant to shift people's perspective, share your beliefs, um, establish you as the expertise. And then on Instagram, the way, so sales are usually made here. But on Instagram, that conversion part, which is basically how someone just checks out, I'm actually going to use a different color, how someone just checks out and gives you money is either in the DM, in the link in bio, or they're getting on a sales call, <clears throat> or you are selling in your story as well. That is a growth, nurture, and convert system. That's the, that is literally what you are doing every day on Instagram or Facebook or podcast or whatever the case is. You just have to know how to strategically do that. And so what a funnel does is it's the same thing except for it's automated, 
Okay. So a funnel has two components or mm -hmm, yeah, two pieces, the funnel itself. And then there's traffic. So you have to be very clear that traffic is separate from your funnel. So you bring in traffic growth and you could do it from your Instagram, your Facebook, whatever the case is. And then the nurturing happens. What is that noise? Oh, sorry. I was like, where, why do I hear a tiny noise? Okay. Then the nurturing happens when you create, this is where you create your lead magnet, right? And then you have those nurture emails. That's where your nurturing happens. That's where majority of the sale is made. And then your conversion is simply if you have a sales page um, with an order uh, page or whatever and the checkout and then your abandoned cart sequence. It's the same thing, except for this is automated. So how what does that mean when it's automated? When you use your Instagram as a growth, nurture, and convert system, you have to post every day in order for it to continue to pipeline leads and people to be nurtured, to grow your audience in order for you to make sales. When you automate it, you can even automate the traffic here, right? So that means it's hands-off, it's quote unquote passive. And then they automatically come into this system. The emails fire off automatically, they're tagged automatically. And then the way that it's it's designed is to move people along this journey, which ultimately you want them to make uh, get to this place and make sales and all of that's hands off. So that's the ultimate place that you wanna get to, but these work together, right? You can see how your organic content works together with your automated funnel. It's just that this is one marketing system that you're using and this is number two. That's why people say focus on one thing, get it right before you move on to the second. So if you're already doing your organic content really well, if you're already live launching really well, right? Like live launching is what? Growing your audience, ramping them up, nurturing them with whatever event you create and then closing them at the end with all the cart and conversion stuff. It's the same thing. It is the same thing. Principally, all these things are the same. And so when you're aware of that, it makes it very easy for you to then transfer the information over to here. So that's what I'm gonna show you quickly with um, the steps on how to actually do this. So let me clear my screen. And if you want to just go to my YouTube channel and I break down this whole system even more in depth. But today I just wanna talk about the steps that I, I go through whenever I am taking a client or even myself through a funnel and how I you know, assess it. So if you wanna get started and you've been selling with live launches or organically, then the first thing that you should do when you decide to create a funnel is to look at the low hanging fruit. And so what I mean by that is that look for the product that you have already sold, that's the easiest. Sometimes what we do, and this just depends on your situation or where you're at, but we try to sell like if there's something new with a funnel that we haven't really sold before or um, you know something that's just like you've just been having a really hard time selling. So if you, and I'm speaking to people again, who you're, you're, li you're live launching, you're selling in content, you know, you're making money, but you're like, okay, I need to take a step back. I want to automate this. So look for your low hanging fruit. What is something that you, every time you sell it, you know exactly what to say, what to post, and then people buy, but you're like, okay, I can't, you know, I, you know, I don't want to rely on showing up every day just to make this sale. That's going to be the easiest product for you to sell and easiest product for you to evergreen the process. And I would do this for an evergreen product. What I mean by that is that, yes, you can passively use funnels to make sales and fill enrollment to your group coaching program. But what we're trying to achieve right here is sustainability. So making sure that you have some sort of sustainable system, revenue stream that's bringing in money that is completely hands-off. That way your baseline revenue every month is consistent without you having to do anything uh, to achieve that. So evergreen product and then because you know how to sell this, that same messaging angle that you created in your content, that same content topic, so same content journey, that's going to be the message for your entire funnel, okay? And so the funnel messaging that I, I use and the formula that I use, which is pretty, probably going to be familiar to how you create content is the thing that someone thinks solves their problem, right? So we'll, I'll break this down in an example addressing the symptoms, the actual problem and your solution from your unique lens. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like here. Let me get my pen really quick. So funnel messaging formula, all right? Uh, what color? Okay, how many is mm, red? Okay, so you know, the simple kind of like framework of the funnel build is like a lead magnet, right? You have the opt-in, you have the download page, you have the email nurture sequence, you have the... Um, 
sales page, order page, all that stuff. Like we're not talking about that part. We want to talk about the messaging formula and you want to make sure you get this right. So in the beginning of this funnel is where we craft the messaging that talks about the thing they think solves the problem. So if if my pro if my person's problem is I don't know how to create sustainable cash flow outside of live launching, but I keep thinking that um, the answer to that is more content or more offers or da 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 like more just more just more just more, then I'm going to address that in the beginning of the funnel by saying you know you may think that it's more offers you may think that it's another live launch that's going to solve your problem right. Because now what happens is that I am speaking to what they think in, in their in their in the top of their mind, what they think the problem is. So when I address that, right? So the thing they think the problem is, then I can start to address the symptoms. So you're like, oh, you know, I need to maybe plan another live launch that's uh, better. Maybe I need to join a summit. Maybe I need more people to, you know, market um, you know, this this uh, live launch for me. Or maybe I need to be like Gary V and pump out more content, which funny enough. He's kind of switched his tune about that, right? So you're just thinking it's more and more and more in order for you to finally get to this place where you have some sustainability, right? Like whatever you, your ideal person's problem, they think the problem is. So then I can go into those symptoms and this is where people feel like, oh my gosh, I'm connecting to you. Oh my gosh, you're in my head. Because instead of just being like, hey, you guys need a funnel, I can't just straight up say that. I have to address where they're where they are at mentally and that's what establishes the trust. And then going into the symptoms helps them know that they can trust me because in order for me to know those symptoms to that depth and that detail, you have to actually do the research. Then because I've torn down the barriers, I'm like, hey, you know, come inside this masterclass. I'm going to break down a way to, you know, achieve the goal that you want, which is sustainable sales without doing more. Then there's there they are less inclined to say no because you've addressed where they are and they're more open to actually hearing your solution. So then when you are delivering whatever your lead magnet is, whatever your freebie is, is where you can start to talk about the actual problem. And so that's when I'll say, hey, the actual problem isn't that you need more. It's because you don't have a sustainable system. It's because you don't have um, continuity built in. You don't have a sustainable process. Now they're more open to listening to it. And then that's when I can go, into my solution, into my unique lens on, hey, this is how I see funnels, right? So you're kind of experiencing that now a little bit where when I talk about funnels, I don't say, um, you know, funnels are better than content or content's better than funnels, one or the other. I say they actually work together and I show you how, and then I'm going to break down the, the important part of the funnel, which is what we're talking about now, instead of most of the time, I feel like the way that it's done is talking about like, oh, you need an opt-in page. You need a tiny offer. You're like, duh, I know that. But so, it's, so instead, I'm showing you my signature process, the unique way that I create funnels by showing you that it's actually just the messaging that makes the funnel work, not necessarily the setup or the details, right? So now people are seeing my unique lens, then they're more inclined and better nurtured to purchase. So that is, um, let me clear, that is the messaging angle that we strategize when we first go to create your funnel. I don't care about the landing pages, the opt-in, because literally you could do the same formula and you can have a Google doc or like you can have a Google form that goes to a Google doc for your freebie and it will still work. Okay. So it's not just the tech. It's the actual strategy, the messaging strategy that's behind this that makes this work, okay? So step two, then, and this is kind of how we work smarter, not harder. And this is also, this this sort of principle comes from, um, you know, in the Bible where God, the the uh, prophet asked the woman who had the debt, right? When her husband passed away and she was like, oh my gosh, um, you know, me and my sons, how are we going to live? They're going to be taken off as slaves. And basically he's like, what's in your hand? So this is how I look at this funnel strategy. This is one of the ways that I utilize funnels, but this is a very much what's in your hand kind of strategy. So after you've established the messaging angle, because you're like, okay, this offer sells easily. I know exactly how to sell it with um, my messaging. Then we take the hottest piece of your offer that your clients are dying to know about and turn it into a lead magnet. So most of the time you already have something inside your offer that you can pull out as like a tiny snippet, a tiny like win, a tiny step. 
and use that as your lead magnet. A lot of times what happens is that people then create this random lead magnet that they think people want, and then it's disconnected because it's not actually connected to your offer in itself. So because the whole point of the funnel is to sell your offer, I like to take a piece of my offer out and put that as a freebie. So for example, with um, the one of the current funnels I have running, one of the biggest things people want to know is how do I get traffic? How do I get traffic? How do I grow? So that's the angle that I, I use. I take a piece of uh, training, like a, a little one hour training out of the program and I put it inside the lead magnet because then again, it's the thing when we create these funnels, we have to think about where our customer's head is at, not what we think is best for them. Okay. So we have to, we have to meet them where they're at in order to establish that trust and break down those mental walls and barriers. Right. So that sales psychology, and then it allows you to then say, Hey, as the expert, here's my information. So that's, if you don't handle that friction, then it's not going to work. And so you can't just say, here's the answer, um, you know, to your problem if they don't believe that. So that's why we're kind of tearing down these layers. So that's why I like to give them the, the, the juiciest thing that they want to know about funnels, right? So what's the juiciest thing they want to know about the problem you solve or your offer or the solution you provide? Then all we do is use that offer messaging angle that we just talked about. And that's going to be the narrative for your entire funnel. You don't have to create a whole new <clears throat> set of copy. Again, if you are, are already selling in launches, and you're already selling inside of your organic content, it's the same messaging journey, right? Problem awareness, shifting perspective, talking about the root problems, digging into symptoms, showing them the solution. Your offer is the solution, the bridge that gets them from A to B. It's the same thing. And you plug that into the journey of your funnel, okay? And then when you're done with that, it's... Now with the go high level age that we live in, it's very easy for you to get a pre-built funnel so that, and this is not a funnel template where it's just like, um, uh, you know, just swap out and plug in the information. That part is there too, but it literally the actual entire build from all the sales pages, setups built and connected to all the tagging, to all the workflows, the automation, all of that stuff with go high level, what they've done when all of these people buying these, um, you know, are creating these white label versions of it. It has literally made funnel building so easy. It is like such a dream. That is one thing. Like I can build funnels, but I tell you, I literally just take a template of my funnel and I just copy and paste. And that's how I get funnels up so quickly. Because if after you get past this part, then the next hard part that people experience is the actual setup and build. So this saves so much um, time. So get a pre-built template. That way you have everything that you need. And of course, you got to make sure the template is designed to sell what it is that you are wanting to do. Um, but even then, just having you know these white label versions of Go High Level where you have these all-in-one systems, I'm telling you, it is like, it is so good. Because trying to, in the past, get ClickFunnels to talk to my active campaign, to talk to my Thinkific, and I literally, if you saw the Zap map that I had drawn out just to make all the little nuances fire off and work, like it, it's crazy. And then, and then, um, sometimes the, the zaps don't work. Um, one second. Sometimes the zaps don't work and then your whole system breaks down. So then that's the other challenge as well. So that's why I really like having these all in one systems and making sure you know exactly how they work because they literally save you so much time. And if I wish I would have had this like three years ago, but now it exists. So then after that, your funnel is built and your funnel is done. So all you have to do is you already have an audience that you've been launching to. You already have an audience that you've been selling to inside of your content. You can either send um, simply an email for people who don't have the offer that you're trying to sell. You can share it in your stories, Facebook posts, Instagram posts. You can sell in other people's Facebook groups. And that way, what you can do is get traffic into your funnel to test it quickly for free. And then you want to get to a place where your conversion rates are, um, it just depends on what your funnel you're creating, but between three to 5%, and you're like, okay, every time I send traffic in to this, like, uh, what is the speed in which people are buying? Are they buying quickly, right? Because you can measure that speed where someone opts, in, opts into your funnel and quickly purchases, or um, what are my conversion rates in general? Every time a hundred people come in, X amount of people buy. Once you see that, then that is when you can go and hire someone who does ads. 
that is really great at running traffic and all they have to do is go and find you more people that are already coming into your funnel. So I'm not going to talk about that part right now, but this is a way I I hire for ads is I don't have someone come into my ads, um, into my funnel and try to make the funnel work for me. I validate and prove the funnel works. And then that way, all someone has to do is go and find more of what I have already achieved. So that's what then mitigates your risk and your costs. And that's really what um, paid traffic is for anyways, just to go find what you, you know, people that are buyers. So that's what someone can help you do. And that's actually how you start to get to a place where your whole entire funnel is passive and hands off. Okay. And so again, yep. Troubleshooting and optimizing. Beautiful part about the funnel is that you will see the bottlenecks. You will see where people um, are falling off. You, there are so many free tools like Hotjar that shows you how people are actually navigating the page so that you can see like if there's any problems or nuances. And of course, um, let me pause, make sure you test your funnel before launching. Um, and then um, you, so you're able to see, see that. And then with the softwares, you're able to split test. So you're able to see um, okay, if I make these tweaks with, if it's just like colors and if they're, if it's just the, the text, is it increasing my conversions? And there is a way that you are supposed to troubleshoot and optimize your funnels just to make sure you're not just like throwing the whole thing um, off. Okay. And then when you're done with that, all you have to do is repeat this strategy for another one of your evergreen offers. And now all of a sudden you have a pipeline of people coming into your world from different offers that would otherwise just be sitting there. And then that is a better way to have hot and ready buyers primed for your group coaching programs, your live programs, selling your one-on-ones and things like that. Um, so key thing to note, like I talked about before, it's not the funnel setup that's the most important. It's the marketing strategy, okay? So like I showed you, general funnels have opt-in, they have the download, they have the, the email nurture system that fires off, the sales page, the order page, all of those things. That's, you know, fine, but you can literally do this same process in a Google doc and it still work. So it's not about the tech that, that part's going to be helped. That part is helpful, but if you don't get the messaging part, right, if you don't get the marketing strategy, right. So you want, might want to go back and run the first part of this video over again. If you don't get that right, then none of this works. Okay. So again, you're already doing this organically. The whole point is that now it's just that you want to automate this process because this is for you to now be able to have you know, a hands-off approach. And then the beautiful part about it for the ones that live launch, when you have funnels that are constantly bringing buyers into your world, then you're going to have a hot audience that's primed and ready for your launch content. So that's another beautiful thing as well. So that is it guys. Um, I'm going to come probably, I don't know when, maybe tomorrow and talk about the posts that I made today about um, my tiny offers. So if you haven't gone to my Instagram yet, you can check that post out where I break down kind of the similar process, but I created this same, use the same strategy and put tiny offers that have literally been sitting and collecting dust that are so good, but they've just, just been collecting dust. And I put it into a funnel. And I think like, I don't know what I said, I think like 200 something people went in the funnel, but that funnel made $420 from $7 offer. I think it was a 47 and a $53 offer and then a $25 a month offer. So it's so easy to just get this up and running. And of course I test it for free. So there's minimal cost. And then there's a few tweaks and testing that I, I'm working on to get the conversion rates up. And then pretty soon I will create reels ads and then make that go on autopilot. So very simple strategy, very simple process. It's a lot faster than organic content. When I, when I use my organic content strategically, I'm using it for brand building and establishing authority, but I'm not necessarily relying on it to make sales, but it's beautiful because they work together. So when people come into my funnels, one of the natural things that they do is check out my Instagram or check out my Facebook, and then they're going to see that same cohesive message um, as well. So that is it guys. And if this is something that you want to do together, then we break this down inside followers to sales. Followers to sales, if you've been around for a while, used to be this huge, long group coaching program, but I have actually, um, with a friend, have turned it into a, a monthly membership. That way you can come and go as you please. The way that the funnels are are, are built, um, there's three main funnels in there, selling tiny offers, selling group coaching programs, selling mini courses. What we talked about today 
is how I conceptually take the principles of funnels and use it as a strategy based on whatever objective I have. So inside the program, we can talk about what that looks like for you. So practically speaking, it's step-by-step, everything that we talked about from the messaging to what type of lead magnet should you put in there? How do you actually set up the funnels? If you want funnel templates as well, there's access to that too. If you don't want to use the same system that I have, then you can just follow the step-by-step um, uh, workbooks to show you exactly what has to be on each of the, the pages to make them convert and what how, where your messaging goes. And literally guys, right now it's still 25 a month. So you can cancel anytime, you can join anytime. There is no pressure or obligation. Um, and yeah, let me just break down a little bit. Yep. So we go through offer and messaging or offer and buyer messaging. Because again, like I talked about, if we build a funnel and you don't get this part right, nothing else matters. Then we talk about how to actually set up the funnel, which again is super easy just get a template and load it in and don't worry about actually building it and trying to make all these systems talk together. But again, if you're already using other stuff, it doesn't matter. You can still use the step-by-step guides and that way you just adjust what you're already using and just make the tweaks. And then there's different lead magnets that you can make, but I personally love masterclasses, especially for cold audiences that don't know you because it establishes no like trust really quickly. So I show you how to do that. And then the fun part about it is that If you do them live and save the replay, you have the opportunity to make money live and then turn that replay that you know makes sales into your lead magnet. And so I think one of, um, she's in this group, but and she sells financial services, tax services, accounting services. She did her live and she sold like three or four of her 397 offer live. And then now we're taking that and putting it into a funnel. So it's like, might as well, right? Instead of just recording it by yourself, it's like you might as well take the opportunity to test and try and see if someone's going to buy it. And that's going to also validate and confirm very quickly, does this lead magnet work? And then after you're done with your system, I show you the easy ways to get traffic into your funnel to test it for free. And then that way you are prepped and ready if you decide to then move on to a paid form of traffic. It's literally you've already done all the work. So that is it. Um... I think that's it. So yeah, you get step-by-step content, you get the workbooks. Um, I'm always updating it and kind of showing you some of the behind the scenes of like my strategies and the different ways I'm using funnels. There's a mastermind group, there's a VIP community for networking, and then all of the perks and savings on, on the tech. So I'm also giving you my sales blueprint. So different prompts and things you can use for writing from your space, like for your problem, for your business then lead and sales funnel templates. So if you want to, again, know exactly what needs to be said on each step, that's there, as well as all of the nurture sequences and abandoned cart uh, emails are written for you. You can just, again, tweak and change the information as well as the sales page and then masterclasses as well. So that part has been fun too. There's a lot of people that have been using the masterclass template and again, just making sales from that. And then it's very easy to turn that into um, a lead magnet. So that is it. Happy Monday. I'm wishing you a blessed Monday. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I will continue to try to keep popping in for these random funnel hacking strategy sessions. And yes, that is it. Love you guys. And I will talk to you soon.